Live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. As they cast him down, you will announce that there is a lifting up. Beautiful King, yes, I let go. I bow before your throne. somebody's hands. Just one person. As you are holding that hand, you squeeze in favor into that life. You squeeze in answer to prayers into that hand. You squeeze in divine favor into that hand. As you grab in that hand, you squeezing greatness into that hand. You squeezing abundance into that hand. As you're grabbing that hand, there's a contact for the next level. As you're grabbing that hand. I'd like you to look at that person straight in the face and say, Beloved, it is my turn. After my turn, it will be your turn. Say it like you mean it. Say, After my turn. Then it can be your turn. Squeeze that hand like you know what you are saying. Say it is my turn. After my turn. Then it will be your turn. But now. Join me. Celebrate my turn. I owe no apology to your haters. I come to give your destiny a chance for expression. I came to give your life a chance for expression. I came to give your tomorrow a chance for expression. Somebody holler God will answer. Somebody holler God will answer. 
I came to give your life a chance for expression. I came to tell you that your destiny will no longer be cocooned. Your destiny will no longer be seized. Your destiny will no longer be kept behind. I came to announce that it is about time you stop manifesting your destiny. Oh, that's why I came. I didn't come, come here to do the usual thing. I came to do the unusual. I came to call those things that be not as though they will. And as I call them for they will come into existence. I come as a machinery like those of old. I came, I came in the name of the Lord. I came in the name of the Lord Most High. I came to declare to you that it is your turn. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, it is your turn, wherever you are, it is your turn, it is your turn, it is your turn, somebody hello, there is only one man God cannot work for. There is only one man God cannot walk with. There is only one man God cannot bless. That is the man he cannot talk to. If God cannot talk to you, he cannot do anything with you. But if God can talk to you, he can do everything with you. That is why God can call anybody. God can use anybody. God can use anything. Eh? God can call anybody. He can use anybody. He can call anything. He can make use of anything. If God can talk to you, he can do anything for you. There is somebody here tonight. What you need is one word from God. Just one. Just one. Just one word from God tonight is able to end many years of pains. One word. One word from God to you. That's a word from God to you as a person. That's a word from God to us as a group. But I'm talking about the word from God to you. Mm. Uh, theologians call it Rhema. Uh, they call it Rhema. Uh, and when Rhema uh, uh, gets to you, uh, it produces miraculous results. And tonight, what did I come to do? I come to share the logos. I came to translate the logos, empower the logos, and turn the logos into your rhema. Are you ready now? Can I talk here? I feel it now. It is all over me. Any moment from now, you will misunderstand me. How will you misunderstand me? I don't care what the devil has done in your life over the years. But a few minutes from now, I will tell the devil to leave you alone. You were thinking Satan is too powerful. I came to tell you that that guy is not powerful. You were the one empowering him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's not. He's not powerful. He's not as powerful as you think he is. The only thing the Bible ascribes to him is that he's a wise man. He knows how to take advantage of the weak. He knows how to take advantage of those who are not knowledgeable. The truth of the matter is that most of the things he had done in your family and in your life was not because he has so much power. It was because you didn't know what you should know. If you know what you should know, you will resist him. Oh, come on. He can't come around with you now. No, not when I'm standing here. Ah! He know, he know. No, he can't come around you now. All of those rubbish he used to do before, he can't try it now. Not when I'm standing with you here. God punish the devil with his grandmother. And punish his mother-in-law. If you can, holla him in now. John chapter number 5. John chapter number 5. Because of our time. I'm supposed to start from verse 1, but I will not. Because of time, let me pick it from verse number 6. Uh -huh. Who is reading for me? When Jesus saw him lie. And when knew... Jesus saw him. Listen to me. I told you before I started, I said, it is not about me 
looking for miracle. It's about miracle looking for me. Wherever you are in this meeting, I have a good news for you. Miracle is looking for you. Answer to prayer is looking for you. It is not about you struggling to get a miracle. My friend, I am not struggling. My friend, I am not laboring. Ladies and gentlemen, folks who preached this gospel to us many years ago, they didn't tell us the truth. Folks who told us God's word many years ago, they didn't present it as they ought to present it. They made it look like I need to struggle to please God before he will answer me. They made it look like I need to walk. I need to do it well. Because God is some kind of tyrant sitting somewhere looking for who he will punish. They made it look like God is waiting for when he will flood me up and down. They made it look like Christianity is something you do. Every day of your life you are tied down somewhere. No, that is not my God. No, that is not my Jesus. No, that is not my savior i came to present to you a god who delights in your well-being who delights in your good health he said it is my wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth it is his wish above all things he said i said before you life and death but i advise you choose life that you may live i serve a god that is alive i serve a god that is loving I serve a God that is caring. I serve a God that is taught by my family. And the Bible said we do not have a high priest that is not taught by our family. The high priest that I have is touched. He is touched when I feel bad. He is touched when I'm angry. He is touched when I'm weeping. He is touched by my families. I came to present to you a God that is interested in your matter. A God that loves you more than you love yourself. A God that cares about you. He is not a God that is interested only in punishing you. Uh, those who came before us presented God as though the only thing God is looking for is for you to make a mistake so he can deal with you. That's not my God. Help me tell your neighbor, say, I don't know about you, but that's not my God. Oh no, that's not my God. That's not my God. And that is why when you come to church, you meet folks who are not looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Rather, you meet folks who are looking at others. You see what this brother is doing now. You will see what God will do to him. You will see what God will do to her. No, no, God is not a tyrant. Oh no, that's not God. That's not God. He delights in blessing you. How many of you know that hell is real, heaven is real, but hell is not meant for us. Hell is not meant for us. He didn't create hell for us. He never programmed us for hell. And can I say this to you? Nobody will go to hell because you made a mistake. I want to talk to you about it. It's my turn. But I will prepare you before I talk. Uh, you won't go to hell because you made a mistake. No, no. No, no. I want to blow your theology now. Uh, you know, uh, one thing about talking to do uh, is that I say words uh, that make preachers uh, run back to their Bible. Uh, well, you may like me or hate me, uh, but you can't say I don't know my Bible. Uh, I am a theologian. It runs on the inside of me. Uh, the word of God dwells on the inside of me. Uh, whether you love or you hate me, uh, you can say God's word does not dwell in me. Nobody goes to hell because you committed sin so you let them hear me now ah! nobody nobody will go to hell because they committed sin if any man go to hell because they committed sin then Moses owe us apology take more from me take more from me if anybody go to hell because they committed sin, hear me, hear me, hear me. If anybody should go to hell because they committed sin, then David owe us apology. 
If anybody go to hell because they committed sin, then Abraham owes us apology. Oh yeah, hold on. I will finish this one now. I'll, 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 I'll talk this and I'll go. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'll come again. You hear me now? I said, uh, if anybody go to hell because they committed sin, Moses will come and apologize to the church. Apologize to all of us. He has to come here and tell us that he is sorry because Moses received direct instruction from God. God said to him, speak to the rock. And Moses did not speak to the rock. He flogged the rock and in the book of Corinthians my Bible told me that the rock he flogged was Jesus Christ how can Moses flog Jesus and yet go to heaven and you tell me that somebody will what is sin sin the original definition of sin is not doing bad it's not doing wrong the original definition of sin as a theologian is missing the mark It's missing the mark. When you miss the mark, you have sinned. And the mark that was set for Moses was for him to speak to the rock. He didn't speak to the rock. He flogged the rock. Not once, not twice. And my Bible recorded it that he was flogging Jesus. He was flogging Jesus. And after flogging Jesus, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he did not just go to heaven. Moses never had a grave. He doesn't have a grave here. God said, I will carry him body and soul. Because if I leave this guy here, people will go to his grave to worship him because the guy is an authority. Because the guy is an authority. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot serve the most high and be the most low. I can't carry grace and be a disgrace. I cannot carry anointing and not show forth his glory. I cannot carry God and not show forth my God. Don't let me talk here. Don't let me talk here. I... Oh yeah, hold on now. I said something else. I said, if any man go to hell because the person sinned, then David will come and apologize to us. Ladies and gentlemen, God came and told us in his word. It was written critically clear. It was so bold. God said, David is a man after my heart. Uh, David is a man after my heart. I love him so much. I love David so much. David is my man. Ah, and uh, for the sake of the love that God had for David, when the son of David by name Solomon offended God and broke the heart of God, brought in the worship of Baal, when the greatest commandment is that thou shalt not worship another God except me. Solomon worshipped another God, which is an insult to the face of God and caused Israel to worship another God. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you call sin? And when it was time for God to punish him, God called Solomon and said, Solomon, come here. Solomon arrived and said, huh? And God said to Solomon, I give you an open check. What do you want? Solomon said, give me wisdom. And God gave Solomon wisdom and God himself said, never again on earth will I give a man the kind of wisdom I gave to Solomon I will not give it to any human being again God swore by himself now hear me and the same Solomon turned around and brought the worship of Baal God got so angry God became so bitter and God said to Solomon you Solomon I desire that is for the first time I saw in God's word that there are desires in the heart of God that God cannot fulfill. God said, I desire to take away the kingdom from your hands, but I cannot. Not because of you, because of your father. Because of the love that I have for David, I will not take away the kingdom from your hand. But you see, you, you will learn. You will not fight war. Anything you like, do to me. I will give you peace. Anything you like, do to me. I will do you well. Anything you like, do to me. I will favor you. And my Bible said that Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. 
And it, it was recorded in the Bible. 700 wives and 300 concubines. God saw them. But God said, still be there. God said, still be there. Still sit on the throne. He sat on the throne. He reigned in Israel without fighting a war. God said, I will cause every nation around you to be at peace with you. And my Bible said, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he turns his enemies into his friends. And yet, this is a man that broke the heart of God. And God said, it's not because of you, but because of your father David. And God said, no, no I will take the kingdom away from the hand of your son. Uh, but I love David so much, but I will take it away. And when the son of Solomon, by name Rehoboam, became the king in the land, I expected God to do what he said. God showed up and said, now I'm about to take away the kingdom. But can I say this to you? God said, my covenant with David shall I not break. My covenant with David shall I not break. I will not break my covenant with David. I made a promise to, 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 to David at Mount Sinai. I said to David at Mount Sinai. I, and I said, I repeated it again at Mount Horeb. When I said to David, a son from your loins will always sit on the throne. So when God wanted to take away the kingdom, he divided the kingdom and still left Rehoboam on the throne. Because if he takes the throne completely away from him, the word of God has been broken and his word cannot be broken. He still allowed him to reign. Can I say this to you now? And the same David said to God, you know the way the love is flowing between you and I now, let me build you a house. David gathered all the materials to build God a house. I was waiting to see God allow David build the house because I was beginning to ask myself, does he mean that God sees some things and does not see some things? Is he not seeing what this man is doing? But when it was time for David to build the house, David said, oh God, I'm ready to build you a house now. God said, don't build for me. And I waited to hear the reason. God said, David, you know what? You are a murderer. Your hands are full of blood. You have killed so much. You are a killer. You have been murdering people. A man who has been murdering people. And God you know. But you turn around to say this is a man after my heart. If I, if anybody should go to hell because of sin, David will come here and apologize to us. Can I talk the last one? Then I flew. Uh, that is not the last in the Bible. I could go on and on and on. But let me give you this one and I, 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 I could close on that. I, and I said, if anybody go to hell because that person sinned, then our father in faith, Abraham, we have to come here and apologize to us. Because uh, my Bible said that he extended to the wife and took the maid. And uh, had a son through the maid which has become the trouble of the world up until today. It is the coming of Ishmael into the world that has brought the Arab nation which is troubling the world, Islamizing the world up until today and there is nothing anybody can do about it. You can't wipe them off the face of the earth because from the beginning God said because the blood of Abraham is on the inside of you, I will make a great nation. There is nothing anybody can do. I will make you a great nation. And you know what? Uh, when Abraham uh, uh, came to the voice of the wife uh, and took that lady uh, from Egypt. After all, Egypt is our own. It's Africa here. Africa here, you know, and took her, and my Bible said he went in unto her, and and he, he she produced the son, and the, the the son's name was called Ishmael. But the time came when the original wife brought forth the son of promise. Abraham couldn't wait for the promise of God. God gave him a promise. Abraham couldn't wait for it. God said to Abraham, "I will make you father of nations." Abraham decided to be faster than God if anybody should go to hell because of sin Abraham will come here and tell us what happened between him and Hagar and he will explain to us I don't know what it is but I know that it was against God's word and listen to me now when the same wife turned around to say oh yeah chase the boy away Abraham said no I'm not going to chase it away he chase him away that was when God showed up and God said to Abraham you have to listen to your wife because you listened to her in the beginning so keep listening 
you listen to her in the beginning so keep listening you you have to listen to your wife now huh? and shakes the boy away and abraham huh? shakes the, the boy away but hear me now before he shakes the boy away god made an internal promise to abraham god said to abraham shakes him away but listen to me don't bother yourself because he is your seed he will not die he will not die because he's your seed that will make a great nation out of him because he's your seed that will sustain him and god proved it because when hagar and the little boy were in the bush the bible said their water finished there was no food there was dryness everywhere just like some people here now you are living in a world that looks like your world is dry some of you are crying and shouting i came to cry alongside with you but you will see the difference tonight and what is the difference you will see you will see the difference when the seed of God cry and when an outsider cry my bible said that Haggai was crying and the boy Ishmael was crying but the little boy was crying and the bible said that the mother gave gap gave him gap because she didn't want to see him die that is the condition the boy was at that time huh? by the conclusion of the mother the mother had concluded in her heart that the boy was going to die but the mother didn't know huh, that that boy is not an ordinary boy as long as the mother was carrying him and he was crying in the mother's arms God will not hear but when the mother left him and gave a distance the boy cried now hear me there are people who will leave you after tonight so that God will hear your cry. Let me preach God's word to you. There are people who will leave you. There are people who will walk away from you. There are people who will run far from you. So that God will hear you. There are people who should give you gap. So that God will hear you. There are people who should get out of your life. So that God will hear you. Somebody lift your mic and holler. Now, the Bible said the mother was crying and the boy was crying. And humanly talking. The voice of the mother and the voice of the little boy. Which one should be louder? The mother's voice should be louder. Eh? But God didn't hear the voice of the mother. God heard the voice of the little boy. Because of the blood that is running on the inside of him. God said, I have heard the voice of and the weeping of the little boy he said to the mother you yeah, go and carry him when the mother lifted him up well showed up where was the well all the while i serve a god who makes a way where there is no way if anybody should go to hell today because the person committed sin now there is a difference between commission of sin and living in sin if you live in sin you go to hell but if you commit sin, you will not go to hell. To commit sin is to fall into sin unknowingly. Come on. By way of mistake. Not iniquity. Not when you sit down to prepare for sin. You know, people sit down to prepare for sin. Conceive it, nurture it, prepare it, then commit it. Eh? That is not committing, living in it. It's a different thing altogether. Now, hear me now. Uh, let me say it. Let me say it without any fear of favor. Tokunadu said, nobody goes to hell because of sin. Tokunadu said, without fear of favor, that nobody goes to hell because of sin. The only thing that makes somebody go to hell is when you say no to Jesus. Anybody you meet in hell has said no to Jesus. Anybody that go to hell has said no to Jesus. But if you can say yes to Jesus, you won't go to hell. You didn't hear me? If you say yes to Jesus, you will not go to hell. Anybody who go to hell has said no to Jesus. And in this house tonight, I have folks who have said yes to Jesus. If you have said yes to Jesus, let me see your hands up. Then we are going to heaven. We are going. We are going. Nothing will stop you. We are going to heaven. I know my right. We must be there. In the name of Jesus. 
The only thing that will make anybody go to hell is when you say no to Jesus. But when you say yes to Jesus, you will not go to hell. You have no place in hell because you can say yes to Jesus and have a place in hell. Now, saying yes to Jesus does not mean I will not be tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. Does not mean that the trials of life will not come. Even Jesus, he fixed it. He got a time in the life of Jesus. What he agreed himself, what he accepted himself, nobody forced him. He said, here am I send me. Thank God for prophets like prophet Isaiah who brought it home. He said he shouted. He said here am I send me. And the father sent him. But when the going got tough Jesus turned around and said father if it be possible let this cup pass over me. But thank God for foundation. And Jesus said but not my will. Let thy will be done. And let me tell you ladies and gentlemen Jesus at a time in his ministry Jesus perverted justice how do I mean by human reasoning the Bible said Jesus was hungry and he was on his way to church just like I was on my way to church and I began to feel hungry Jesus was hungry he saw a fig tree on his way to church he became hungry. He saw a fig tree and he went to the fig tree himself and his disciples desiring to see fruit from the fig tree so he can eat. And my Bible said that it was not time for fig to bear fruit because every fruit has their season. It was not time for fig to bear fruit so that fig tree committed no offense but when Jesus got to the fig tree and saw no fruit out of hunger because a hungry man is an angry man out of hunger that had pursued him and plunged him into an angry man my bible said my Jesus who always judge right he looked at that fig tree and said so there is no fruit in you and he some of his disciples called him Oga. It's not season for figs. So this fig tree committed no offense. Jesus cursed the fig tree and the fig tree died. Thank God for somebody like Simon Peter who marked the fig tree. So when they were coming back from church, Simon Peter observed the fig tree and discovered that the fig tree had died. Because if we settle a matter by mistake, God will answer by correction. God will answer by correction. So, 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 so the victory died. I said to myself, Ah, my Jesus, I, I don't understand. Nobody can say you are wrong, but check. Check this one. The Bible says it was not time for fig to bear fruit. This one you have done now, but no problem. You are our master. Hey! Oh, yeah, hold on. And that, that same time, when Jesus left the fig tree, he entered the church. And he entered the church with so much hunger. When he entered the church, the Bible says he saw people buying and selling in church. And Jesus saw money flowing. And inside his heart, I believe. The Bible didn't write so, but I believe. That inside his heart, he would say, look at the way these people are handling money. Why me? I'm hungry. Don't you ever allow your pastor to be hungry. Because anytime your pastor is hungry, he will change message. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Jesus was hungry and my Bible said for the first time in the ministry of Jesus I have never had the Bible say Jesus was flogging people but that day Jesus picked Cain and he was flogging and turning the table of people who were buying and selling scattering everything what are you people doing but there was something I didn't hear from Jesus after flogging them scattering their table he didn't tell them to stop selling if Jesus had told them to stop selling no church today will be selling their materials we sell our bulletin. We sell our tapes. We sell oil. We sell spiritual materials. Because Jesus did not say stop selling. Hear me now. He did not say stop selling. He flogged the people, turned their table. After turning their table, he didn't tell them to stop selling. And hear me now. That is not the first day Jesus was coming to the temple. After that day he flogged them, he came to the temple again. But all other days he was coming, he was seeing them buying and selling. He didn't talk. After that day he was hungry, he has been coming, seeing them buying and selling. He didn't talk. Then what happened? 
he will let you go hungry. So right now, right now, let me tell you something. The reason I brought this, if you are hungry now, Jesus knows what you are going through. Because he has been there. You don't understand me. If you are hungry now, yours truly, Jesus understands. So when you call, my Jesus, ah, he said that thing. He understands. He understands. When you are downcasted today, Jesus understands. When you are forsaken today, Jesus understands. Everything you go through, he, he has been there. When they are chasing after you today, Jesus understands. You know how many times Jesus took race to save his life? The Bible said they will pick stone. They want to kill him. The guy will take off. Jesus can run, no? And thank God for the Bible. The Bible will write it so. The guy will take off. He will go hiding. He will save himself. Oh. Are you now hear me? In conclusion, help me tell your neighbor. Say, I will go to heaven. Oh, yeah, I want you to say something that will make the devil get mad. Say, I must go to heaven. <laughs> How many of you here are optimistic that you must go to heaven? I must go to heaven. What's, what will stop me from going to heaven? I must go to heaven. You, will you be there? So I will meet you at the gate of heaven. Oh, yeah. La, 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 boo, sha. You don't know that there are some of us who must go to heaven. I mean, as a matter of must. Because if we don't go to heaven, some angels will go on riot. You don't know some angels are itching to see some of us. Eh? Some angels in heaven are itching to see some of us. Uh, that is why if you are a believer, be, be a clear believer. Make your faith known. Because I'm sure that there are some angels sitting in heaven who want to have a handshake with Toknadu. Who are waiting in heaven. Who will tell God, God, what, what are you trying to do? That guy, he has to come here. That guy is wrong. Head. We need to meet that guy. Huh? And some of us will, will just walk into him and uh, say, Angel, how are you doing? <laughs> are you here now? Somebody holler, I love Jesus. Come on, if you love him, say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, holler, it's I love Jesus. Oh yeah, let me push you now. It is my turn. It is my turn. That's what I came for. Now listen, I want your heart to be set to number one. You are sure you are going to heaven. How many of you know that many people are living in sin today because of what they preach to us? Somebody came and told you that the way you are now, there is no hope. You are already in hellfire. And some, some young boys now said, okay, since I am already in hellfire, there is no hope for me. I better, I, I, I better finish work. <laughs> I better finish work. Since I am already going to hell, let me ensure that I, I finish work. It's not true. There is still hope for you. Oh, you are not hell bound. You are heaven bound. Some young ladies have made up their mind before they were committing fornication. And we came and preached to them that because of that fornication, you are finished, you are in hell already. They say, Now, listen, I was committing it small, small before. Now, let me commit it wrong. Big one. <laughs> Since I'm in hell already, let me finish the work. Please, don't finish. There is hope for you. You are heaven bound. Come on, hallelujah. Are you here now? Some people were stealing small, small before and they told them that there is no hope for them. They said, okay, let me start kidnapping. Since it's like that now, now listen to me. There is still hope for you. Uh, uh, are you hearing me now? There is still hope for you. And let me tell you now, God needs you. If he kept you alive up until now, then you are useful to him. Come, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship God. It doesn't matter from where you're coming from. Come, let's worship him. The best thing to do is to worship the Lord. I don't know how rugged you think you are. Some of us are too rugged. Uh, but he called us to his purpose. I don't know what you think. The real men worship God. Uh, the, the, the real people fellowship uh, in him. If you are a real man, come. If you are a real woman, come. Let's worship God. We are the ones who ought to worship God. Are you talented, gifted? Come, use your 
your gift to worship God. Are you blessed of God? Use your blessings to worship God. Has he given you any gifting? Come and use it to worship God. You have no place in the devil, but in God you have a place. There is something about the devil. He uses a man and dumps the man. But there is something about God. He does not use any man to dump anybody. If God has made use of you, he has a place for you. I saw the way God treated Moses and I said I will follow this God. Because Moses followed him all the way. Moses forsook every other thing. And Moses followed the Lord. And as Moses followed the Lord, I waited. I waited to see what God would do with Moses. When Moses made a mistake, I said let me see what God would do with Moses. God overlooked his mistake. And I said this is a God to follow. This is a God to serve. I will serve him all my life. What about you? Will you serve him all your life? Oh yeah, right now, make bold to say it is my turn. You are not saved to suffer. Mark my words and read my lips. You are not saved to suffer. Anybody that preached to you that you ought to suffer because you are born again, tell that person that that message is from hell. That message is not from God. You are not safe to suffer. Are you hearing me now? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He is the owner of the cattle upon a thousand hills. I can serve the most high and be the most low. My God cannot be higher than the highest and then I will be lower than the lowest. Somebody say God forbid. Come on, Allah you say God forbid. How many of you want to look like your God? You want to look like your God. Oh yeah, wait, let me talk to you in a few minutes. You will, you will, you will hear it now. Oh yeah, uh, I said John chapter 5, give me verse 6 very quickly. When Jesus saw him lie. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen, the lie here is not lie as in telling lies. It's lie as in lying down. Come on. Come on now. Now, it's lie as in lying down. That is to say the man was lying down, but Jesus saw him. Hear me now? Yes. Eh? Yes. The man was lying down. A man who is lying down is a man that has no push for him to be seen. He did not make efforts that Jesus should see him. He was lying down. But Jesus came to where he was lying down to meet him. I don't know who you are. He organized this meeting that he may meet you. This meeting was organized that God will meet you where you are. Whether you're inside or outside, I have a good news for you. God is meeting you there. He was lying down, but Jesus saw him. Uh huh. And knew that he had been a long time there. He had this one. When Jesus saw him, Jesus knew. The Bible does not say, and Jesus saw him, and Jesus knew. Jesus knew. The word new is past tense. That is to say, before Jesus would see him, Jesus had already known that he had been there for a long time. The question becomes, who told Jesus? Somebody, hallelujah. Who told Jesus? And today, when I do my own, somebody will say, uh, that man, how can he know somebody's problem? How can he be talking about people and their problems when my master said, the works that I do, you shall do. He said, greater works shall you do. Now, hear me. He said, greater works shall you do. That is why I give my prophecy in capital letter. Because he said, greater works shall I do. Why will I do greater works? Because he said, I 
go to the father so as i sit by the father i advocate for you as i sit by the father i push the father i say answer him answer him answer him as i'm standing now heaven is aware that i'm standing i'm in touch with the headquarters i'm in touch with the source and what do i do i holler and god said push it son and i push it how did jesus know jesus never knew the man before jesus never met the man before but all at a great sudden my bible said he knew that the man had been there for a long time and jesus did not meet any other but he went straight to that man but that man was not the only person there that man was not the only one there how do i know my bible said that important folks the sick the blind the cripple they were all over that place waiting for the staring of the water at the pool of their tide but something happened when my jesus showed up he located a man he located a man and the bible said jesus knew knew not to know jesus knew that that man had been there for a long time as i'm standing here now as i look at your face as i look straight into your face he opens your chapter whatever it is you're going to he begins to tell me son this one is going through this this one is going through that like he's telling me now to settle your family he's telling me now to settle your family he's telling me now that your womb has been closed for these eight years he's telling me now he said open up the womb that you may conceive and have children so that we can shut the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the enemy so that we can make the enemies to stop working their mouth and say you what the children say and somebody will ask how come he know why will i not know because my bible said oh yeah la, 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 la. jesus knew he has been there for a long time that's right oh don't let me get deeper before i get hotter hear me now my jesus knew and the same jesus who knew is the one i'm representing now i'm standing here as his representative because what he did i would do he said greater works shall i do Aye! my god when i see your tears as the flow i see the finger of the wicked that blocked the womb and refused conception and i hear god say to me son speak and i will answer I remember he said to Ezekiel when he asked him to look at the dry bones. He looked at the dry bones and he asked Ezekiel a question. God said to Ezekiel, son of man, shall these bones live again? My Bible recorded that Ezekiel said to him, O Lord, thou alone knowest. And he said to Ezekiel, prophesy. He said to Ezekiel, prophesy. And my Bible said, as Ezekiel prophesied, that bones began to join. And what I had, oh, the Bible said there was noise as Ezekiel was prophesying. Child of God, I came into this meeting with prophecy in my mouth. As I prophesied, there will be noise. And as the noise comes, every dry bone will begin to join again. And life shall come back to them because the one who sent me has capacity and ability. He sent me to prophesy and I prophesy according to his injunction. I came to tell a believer in this house, I don't know how dry your family had been. I don't know how dry your womb had been. I don't know how dry your life had been. I came in the name of the Lord. I came in the name of Jehovah. I came in the name of he who was, he who is, and he that is to come. 
Abraham. I came with a prophecy in my mouth. I said things will get better from now. Can I hear your amen like thunder? As I looked at you, he said, change the condition. Now receive a change of condition. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. They said it will not happen. But now, look at them one on one with me. And I bear the mark of God upon me. I have the seal of the Holy Ghost. I'm sent by him. I'm the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk Nadu. The story won't be the same again. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Jesus knew that that man had been there for a long time. Jesus is aware that your family have suffered for a long time. He's aware of all the sicknesses they've been sending to you. He's aware of the ill health that you're going through. He's aware of the way this sickness is eating you up inside. And what did he send me to do? He said, touch her. You will return the sickness back to sender. And Jesus knew. And Jesus knew. Can I do it like he sent me? Yes, sir. Jesus knew that he has been there for a long time. Uh -huh. Then what happened? He said unto him, Jesus said unto him, Will thou be made whole? I like this one. You know, you know, you know the meaning of this question. Will you be healed? That's the question. Will you be healed? Let, let me tell you this. That question didn't come as a mistake. Oh, let me say this to you. That question did not come in error. There are folks in this meeting who have been through some conditions for a very long time that you already do not see change coming. Come on, 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 come on. There are people in this meeting you've been through so much that you are no longer seeing anything like change. Some of us are getting used to the situation. Some of us are getting used to the condition. Some of us have accepted our faith the way we say it. Some of us have concluded that it cannot get better. Now, the man had been in that case at the same spot by the pool where people come to get a solution, where people come to get healing. The man was located at the right place, but he had been there for 38 years. For 38 years, he was by the pool, and the Bible said Jesus knew that he had been there for a long time. Now, when Jesus located the man, Jesus didn't ask the man, are you sick? Because there is nobody there that was not sick. But Jesus went straight to that man. Jesus went straight to that man. Bible history has it. Bible history has it. By further learning, which brother John did not include, but other writers included it. Uh, and what was it? When Jesus was to talk to the man, when we get there, Jesus was to talk to that man, but when Jesus located the man, he went straight to the man. He went straight to him. When Jesus located him, Jesus asked him, will thou be made whole? And a lot of preachers have preached that the man did not answer well. I agree with you. A lot of believers have said that the man did not answer correctly because Jesus was asking him another thing. He was answering another thing. Child of God, if you've been through what that man has been through, you will answer worst. When Jesus asked him, will thou be made whole? The man didn't say, yes, I will be made whole. Neither did the man say, no, I will not be made whole. The man said to Jesus, my brother, I have no man. Uh, 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 how can you be asking me if I will be made whole? Why did I come? If I am not ready to be made whole, why did I spend 38 years here? 
Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Historically talking, as at the time Jesus was talking to that man, Jesus was not up to 34 years. Everything Jesus lived on earth was about 33 years and 6 months. Eh? Everything Jesus lived on earth. Now, but as at the time Jesus located this man, eh? the man had been at that spot for 38 years. That means that man had been there years before Jesus was born. He was there. Jesus grew up and grew into a man. And then came and met him there. And when Jesus came there to meet him, Jesus was asking him, will that be made whole? He said, excuse me, boy. I have some story to tell you. I, I have experience in this place. I'm the one who has been here for 38 years. Master Jesus, listen. Hear me now. And you know something? That, that man didn't know Jesus. The man didn't know Jesus. There's no way he would have known Jesus. He was by the pool of Bethesda when Jesus was born. He remained in the pool of Bethesda till Jesus grew. He was still at the pool of Bethesda. And when Jesus asked him without be made whole, the man said to Jesus, I have no man who will put me. When the water is stirred up, there is nobody around me that is interested in my becoming well. There is nobody around me that is ready to help me nobody to throw me in before i will move to the water before i will move to the water those who have people they have they would have thrown in their person and the bible said that the pool does not heal two persons at the same time it heals one person at a time for the bible said the first person to step into the pool whatever it is that is wrong with the person you will go with your solution that day so the man said to Jesus the problem here is not about me answering you whether I will be made whole or not but I have taken my faith as it is I don't know who you are listening to the sound of my voice now who has said in your heart the way things are going I don't know if my family will see change I don't know if I'm going to see change in my life I don't know if I'm going to experience a turnaround but I just know there is God I know he can help me but I don't know how I know he can do something about me but I don't know when I know he can see me through but I don't know how but one thing that I know is that I came into this meeting trusting him I came into this meeting believing in him oh Lord help me if you will I have no man. That's what he answered. He said, I have no man. Hear me now. That man had been by that pool for how many years? 38 years. Even those who don't go to church, they know this one. That the man has been there for 38 years. Because I think, those days, they used to use it to sing a song. Now, for 38 years, he was at a particular place. How many persons under the influence of my voice have been long in a particular condition and situation? This faithful morning, I speak by the authority of heaven. Whatever is holding you there will leave you now. Whatever is holding you there will leave you now. Lift your voice and holler, Amen. Whatever is holding you there will leave you now. Lift your voice one more time and holler amen. For 38 years, the man was suffering a particular thing. For 38 years, the man was in a particular condition. For 38 years, but a day came. What was the man waiting for? He was waiting for his stone so he can be healed. I want to hit my point now. I'm getting close to it. 
he was waiting for his turn so his condition can change he was waiting for his turn so he can manifest destiny for 38 years the man patiently was waiting by the pool of the side for 38 years that man was without future for 38 years he was without hope for 38 years he was without solution for 38 years he was dropped at a particular condition hear me now for 38 years a man was stranded for 38 years he was at the same level for 38 years he was at the same point for 38 years he was in the same trouble but a day came he didn't look for jesus jesus looked for him hear me when it is your turn everything will turn to you when it is your turn god will come get you when it is your turn god will come reach you i came for somebody today i came into put god for somebody the lord sent me because it is your turn the lord sent me because it's your season the lord sent me because it is your time he sent me to declare it is my dawn he sent me to declare it is my dawn i don't know whom i'm talking to i don't know whom i'm preaching to i came to talk to somebody i came to talk to a believer i came to talk to somebody who has been waiting i came to talk to somebody who has been looking up to god i came to talk to somebody who has been waiting for god who has been desiring that god should do it i came to tell you it is your turn 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 somebody lift your voice hello it is your turn it is your turn nobody will stop you it's your turn the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Truth. He will help you. You will not die. Amen. You will not die like others have been dying in the family. Amen. In three years, seven accidents you have had. Yes, sir. Seven of them. Yes, sir. Accident was what killed your mother. Yes. Your mother died by accident. Yes, sir. Your brother was at my one waiting for a vehicle in 2014. Yes, sir. Another boss came, jumped the gutter and climbed him. Yes. He died at my one. Yes. Death has been claiming lives in your family. And they are all dying by accident. The same death is hanging over your neck because the devil wants to finish the family. Yes. And in a meeting like this, I was talking about the man who has been by the pool for 38 years and you walked out. You came and threw your seed and you turned your back to go. What will Jesus do if he was to be here physically? I will tell you what Jesus will do. Your kindred chief yes. contested with your father. Your father defeated him and they made your father the kindred chief. Yes. Your father was a chief for four months and he died. Yes, and they gave it to the man. But when they were giving it to the man, they said to your, to your father as they, they were burying him that when his sons grow up, any of them that is interested will take that position. I don't know what the man saw in the position. He decided to kill every one of you. He killed your mother by accident so that your mother will not say what she saw. He killed your elder brother. Killed your younger brother who is the bread who used to be the breadwinner of the family. And now he's after you. 
this way you are walking is not how your God created you from the beginning. Yes. This is not who you are from the beginning. Fear yes. had gripped you. You are no longer living a normal life. You are no longer doing what you ought to do. But in a meeting like this, as a carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of talk, not do. Now hear me now. In one family, one wicked man has killed five persons and he's still alive from bragging as a kindred chief. But now at the midnight hour, I'm shouting as the one carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of talk, not do. This man has sown a seed and he has to reap the fruit. Uh, but I got people, do you agree with me? That he has to reap it. Because except the man reaps it, this one will not have a settled heart. Except the man reaps it, this one will not live a happy life. Except the man reaps it, this one, this one will not amount to anything. Look at me, young man now. Look at me. In the next three hours, he will join your father. He will join your brothers. This case is hereby. Oh yeah. Come here. Have you taken your faith like that? Have you accepted that this is how it's going to be? Do you agree? Even if I tell you now that change is possible, will you agree? Yes, sir. Will you agree if I tell yes, you now sir. that change is possible? Yes, sir. From the very week you gave birth to your son, the father said he is not the father because the mother told him that somebody used to come and visit you each time he go for outside work the very week you gave birth to the boy he said this is not my son he drove you away from the house and you carried your son when your son was but five days old from that time up until now you have not seen your husband so as I was shouting 38 years child of God in this house do I have believers who can shout tokuna do or yahala tokuna do I don't care how long your matter had stayed. I don't care for how long you've been at a particular condition. Change is coming. I came into this meeting. This meeting is declared. It is my turn. Somebody is owing you money here. You are here. Somebody has been owing you money for a very long time. The person seems to have forgotten that somebody like you exists. Today. Today, I open my mouth as a prophet of high function. That person on his own will remember you and come and pay you. Hala Amen now. Hala Amen is prophecy. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. You look like a woman who is not seeing or believing that change will soon come. But today, I will not walk by your faith. I will not walk by what you believe or what you do not believe. I speak as an authority. Amen. Amen. Your husband is at war now. He went for outside work. But, he will come back on Monday. Amen. As soon as he come on Monday, haven't forgotten you and his son for six years he will come back to take you Amen. he will come back to take his son child of god hala settle hala it your own will be settled go and sit down there is a wicked idol in your place where they took your name to. There is one thing the wicked have labeled you with. And that is a label that you will never marry 
or settle down. That is a wicked leveling from the enemy. Yes, sir. Can I talk to people here? Yes, sir. From the enemy. Jesus. But now, I break it. Amen. I'm not talking as a man who cannot see. I'm seeing yes, sir. what the devil is even doing with your basics as a woman. Yes, sir. God has told me how it has stopped it and all of those. How it has turned it into some dirty things. But now, from the crown of your head to the sword of your feet, change is coming. The mighty hand of God will step in and God will turn things around. Child of God, Hala settle. Hala it again. And Hala. For 38 years, the man was kept at the same condition. Those of you outside, do you believe help can come now? You believe it? Oh yeah, the five of you sitting in front there, come. Five of you, come like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The five of you, right? You people, we are sitting here. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Bring it down. Wherever you are in this house, as you hear the sound of my voice, now, wherever you are, those of you outside there, wherever you are in this meeting, in the next 20 minutes, prophecies shall be coming in capital letter. Every one of you, you will become beneficiaries of his grace. You will carry favor as you hear my voice. The suffering in your family that reduced everybody. The suffering in your family that did not allow you to attend the height you should have. I stand here now as a prophet of high function. As I point my hand to you, the yoke is hereby broken. The satanic stronghold is shattered forever. Somebody hala settle. Hala settle. Hala settle. For you. Shame has been covering the family. Nothing is working. Family system not working. No progress of any kind. Marriage delay. Favor delayed. But now. Under 24 hours, grace that will suspend protocol will enter the family. I speak by the authority of heaven. Under 24 hours, your family will see change. Look at me, look at me, look at me. A lot of prayers have been made. You people have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And the more you pray, the more things are becoming difficult. But now, 24 hours spiritual decree. I'm the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokuna do. On that 24 hours, change will come. Wherever you are, hala settle. Hala it one more time. And for the last time, as you settle it for another, God will settle it for you. As you settle it for another, God will settle it for you. Congratulations. He will turn these tears. You see this, your tears. He will turn them into joy. Listen, there will be no more sickness. Toknadu said no more sickness. I said no more, no more, no more. No more, no more. That thing they say will not happen. I say it will happen. The devil does not have the power to stop you from settling down. 
I bear the mark of God upon me. He doesn't have the power to stop the favor of God that should enter your family. Now, I pass a decree by the authority of heaven. Between now and next week Tuesday, congratulations. Wave your hands up to Jehovah. He has done it for you. Somebody hala settle. Somebody hala settle. Somebody hala settle. For you. For you. Or you choose when you want her to be healed. Now. 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 You want it now. You want it now. Or you receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. I prophesy like I'm sent to prophesy. Listen. I don't know how many years the devil had kept your family stranded. Kept anyone in your family weeping and crying. Somebody say, Father, do it today. Let me hear you shout it. Say, Father, do it today. I came here to announce to somebody that change you've been waiting for. That change is coming today. I said it is coming today. I said it is coming today. It is done. Stop crying that I carry grace. I carry grace. You said you want it now. You are receiving it now. Amen. They've laughed at you. Do you want change now? No. Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Yes, I want change. We made a mistake in the past, but God will correct it for you now. Amen. I speak as an oracle of God. Since you say you want it now, by the breaking of the morning, your joy will come. Amen. The Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Your joy has come. Amen. Somebody hala settle. settle. Somebody hala settle. settle. One more time, hala it. Settle. It's done. It's done. The devil will not turn your family into object of mockery anymore. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Somebody hala settle for me. Yeah. It happened before, it will not happen again. It happened before, it will not happen again. Stand up. Can I help you now? Talk to me. Can I help you? The death that killed the other husband will not kill this one. Amen. The cut shot your joy. But next time, the same thing will not happen. Amen. The compound is a dangerous compound. And they think anyone that step in, they can manipulate as they like. But they didn't know you will meet me today. Amen. Oh yeah, come, come. Go and sit down. Listen, tell him to come. Tell him to come. Let him do everything. Follow him. Just open your hands. Please stand up. Just open, just open, open, open your hands. Up. Hold on, hold on. This hands has been dried for so long. I don't want this program to leave you in this condition. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Do you have my number? You don't have my number. Yes, sir. After this time, look for anybody that has my number. Collect my number. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, daddy. It's been a long time. Nothing has happened in your account. Yes, daddy. Nothing. You're right, sir. You've been living a dried life. And you cannot be in disgrace. I'm facing disgrace. Yes, sir. Life has been tough for you. You've been covering up, pretending that all is well. I'm sorry, I came to do meeting. Yes, sir. Am I telling you the truth? Yes, sir. You've been pretending that all is well, but all is not well. But today, look at you, look at me. I'm the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of That's Talk. True, sir. That's true, sir. Therefore, yes, sir. look for my number, call me. Yes, sir. If you call me and you hear my voice, if you hear my voice, those who forgot you before, they will remember you again. Thank you, sir. Who is she? Chai, and she's crying. 
And the way she's crying now will touch me to do something. This month of September will be your month of rejoicing. Amen. There's a miracle that will happen in your life. Then you will know where you enter. Okay. Madam, stop crying. I carry double letter quelle. I hear you, sir. Somebody hala at a quelle. You go lila nyam. Ah? Nami de bezurat de bo. Hebe la de bo. Abogino alune kurumo. Chile de mani de zokuru. You go lila ni le. Ni le ni le. Hala ko best my love for you. You are all that I am. Bible Believing Mission Incorporated, the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Abdul. He's holding himself as a man. But you know, women are close to tears. He's holding himself as a man. And you know the worst of it all? When you call yourself a servant of God, and then it looks like the devil is giving you knock from left, right, and center. You don't know whom to run to. Okay? This month of September, you are one of those for whom God organized the next meeting. Amen. Your family will rejoice. I am a prophesying prophet. I'm not a learning prophet. Oh, wait. Hey! Oh, wait. Wait. I go answer. I go answer. Anybody pursuing you in the next two hours, what they intend against you will happen for them. Will happen to them. Will happen with them. Somebody holla. Your father put his house for sale so that he can take your mother abroad for treatment. Nobody want to buy. The only person who priced said he is coming. Nobody saw him again. Yes, sir. That's true, sir. Your family is in tears now. Your father is working but has not been paid salary for nine months. And not just that he has not been paid salary. Your mother is dying and he wants to save his wife. She's very he put sad. out his property for sale yet nobody wants to buy. And your mother is dying. And in that condition, you came here. Now, hear me. Among all the workers who have not been paid, the white man is telling them that they have not paid him. When they pay him, he will pay them. I will show you now that in the kingdom, there are men of God, but there are men with God. I will show you now. By Monday, the white man will single your father out and pay him. Amen. There will be no more delay in your life. Stand up. Stand up. Stop crying. They've laughed at you so much. Come here. Come, come to me. Come to me. They've laughed at you so much. Open your hand. Open your hand. Can I touch you? Can I touch you? Yes, I'm not like those prophets that told you stories. I'm not like those prophets that prophesy to you and you wait for it over and over. It's not coming to, to pass. Rather, things are beginning to get worse. I'm not like them. I'm a carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokoladu. And I came into this meeting. They, they provoked me. They have provoked anointing. They have pro the oil of grace. You will hear God today. You will see power in this place. You will see power in this place. <laughs> Prophetic mandate of the God of Tokna do. Those 
doors that was closed for your family. Eh? 48 hours from now. Amen. They will open up. Amen. Stop bothering yourself. Amen. Sickness won't claim anybody again. Amen. There will be no more disease. Amen. That one that goes from one person to another person to another person. Now, I end it finally. Amen. Somebody hala settle. Hala settle. Hala set. Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of Talk and Truth. Your your father will be paid complete his nine months. He will be the only one to be paid. He will not use it to send your mother abroad for treatment because after ten minutes from now there will be no need for treatment. There are things we say to you. By the time they leave my mouth to you, you begin to wonder, is it possible? Is this one going to work? How is it going to happen? Now, listen, the how is not your business. Mm, oh yeah, oh yeah. Somebody sent me here. The work is divided. The mandate I carry is the prophetic mandate of the God of talk on do. Now, listen, so there is a talking. And there is a doing. Now, the talking is in my hand. But the doing is in his hand. So, it is not me that we do the doing. But it is me that we do the talking. Because you know what he said? He said, he said to his disciples. Then he followed them. Confirming their words. With signs and with wonders. So what does he do? The words as they leave my mouth, God is committed to fulfilling them. You didn't hear me? I told this young man that the father's salary will be paid the nine months they are owing him. On Monday, immediately he knelt down. Those of you who know them, follow them up. If you walk into their house by tomorrow and you meet the mother in the same condition she was before today, God did not call me. If God called me, she will stand up from there this morning. In the next 10 minutes, as you hear settle from my mouth, if you know anyhow you want to check, check. I bear the mark of God. I carry the prophetic mandate of the God of Tognado. I came as a messenger of heaven. I came as one sent by God. By the call of God over my life and the mandate that I bear. This case is hereby. Settle. 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 You will not bring shame in the name of Jesus. Anybody who is planning anything for you is making a mistake. Stand up. Stand up. Any gang up against you, they will scatter. Those compound people who are looking for a way, they've come with stealing your things. It did not work. They are now carrying bad rumor against you in that compound now i prophesy on your head before they know what hit them you will pack into a house you call your own you are begging now that you want to live in that compound but hear my prophecy before this time next year you will complete your own building and the parking somebody hala settle Hala Sato! Hala anybody last time! Oh yeah, sit down. Now, anytime your landlord begins to insult you, it is time to pack into your own house. Eh? I, I said I want to prophesy today. Can I prophesy today? I said I want to release prophecy today. Can I prophesy? My brother, can you go and make money? Let's eat money. Can you go and make money? If I send you to go and make money now, will you make money? There are one, two, three, four opportunities waiting for us at worry. Two opportunities at Watakot. 
waiting for us with white doors open to make money through oil to make good money can i send you to go and make money yes sir if send you make me. money you will return back too much i'm the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the god of talking i do I know, oh yeah give me your hand go to worry For how long will you be suffering and smiling? For how long will they make you an object of mockery and caricature? For how long will you weep and cry in the same condition? Now! I came with the prophetic mandate of the God of Toknadu. I release a prophecy over your head. The God of help will make haste to help you. After September, what is the next month? Eh? Eh? October. The month of September will set you up. Amen. The month of October will settle you. Amen. Hala settle. Settle. Hala settle. Settle. Hala settle for the last. Settle. Hold on. Hold on. Oga poverty is holding you so tight. Can I lose you? Talk to me. Yes, sir. Can I lose you? Yes, sir. You can't be in this meeting, and when I am through with this meeting, you go back begging. You will not beg again. I remove it from your life. Solution is in your hand right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. Talk, make I hear you. Oh, yeah, stand up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You and your family members had been under that small cover for long. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bua mama, you mama, bro. Oh, we got it, They reduce everybody to nothing. Yes, sir. In a small end. Yes, that is exactly. To go village is a problem. Yes, that is. Exactly. But now, hey, you they call me, I go answer. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Every effort for you to make a move is not working. Yes, sir. It's true. The person you have helped that is supposed to help you now is keeping malice with you. Yes, sir. Exactly. And he's your brother. Yes, sir. He's not happy with you. Yes, sir. You know him? Okay, you know him. Yes, sir. He's not happy with you. Exactly. He's angry with you. Yes, sir. Because of issue of money. Yes, sir. From you to him and you say. Exactly. Oh, wait. Stand up, son. The same force of darkness that has made your family small and scared. Yes, daddy. 28 minutes from now. Amen. Grace will swallow it. Amen. Somebody hala settle. 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 Oh yeah, come. That compound where they said nobody will laugh. That compound where they said nobody will have a lasting joy. Suffering from year to year. Left, no help. Right, no help. Struggling at a particular junction. And you opened your mouth here now to tell me that you people are there. Or you hear my prophecy. By this time next month, by this time next month, joy will enter the family. Those who said they will not be alive to see something good, come into your mother's kitchen 
they will see it. Amen. Hala settle. Settle. Hala settle. Settle. And for the last time. Settle. Painful things that will happen to anybody in life is when you is when you look at yourself that somebody you should help you are now subjected to beg for help from the person and for you that I know you don't want to beg 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 Can you get 15 naira? Or you look for 15 naira? Oh, wait. Oh, kakam. Oh, kakam. Hold on. Oh, yeah, take. Put it in your pocket. Any money that comes into your hand always disappear. When you put money in business, it will go down. When you struggle and struggle and gather money, it will just be going. You keep going down. When you turn around, you can't tell what you did with your money. That money entered my hand and it has entered your pocket. If it happened again, let me see. There is a strong yoke in your family, young girl. It has affected all your seniors in a family of four ladies. You are the last born. None of them is married. Everybody is at home having children. No husband, but they are having children. Yes, now, yes, the same thing wants to affect you because the cause is that all of you none will have a husband but you will have children in the house somebody say god forbid, god forbid. i didn't hear you shout god forbid. god forbid i pray for you now as i'm saying it to you now it's sounding like how out of four you are the one that doesn't have yet yes. but you are not having it's not because you are not under the thing you are under the same cause but the reason you are not having let me save you you are too young for this but now, I want to break that curse from your family. Amen. Can I break it now? Yes, sir. Can I break it very quickly? Talk yes, to me. Sir. Yes, sir. Can I break it now? Yes, sir. All your sisters, no one is married. None of them. But now, I break the curse and I release all of you. Amen. You will have husbands of your own. Amen. You will have husbands of your own. Amen. You will have husbands of your own. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Church, Hala settle. Hala settle. And for the last time, it's done. Come. Do you know that I can force four one niners who collected your money how many years ago? That affected your business and brought you down. That I can command from here. Though money is not in their hands now. But I can command from here now. When money enters their hand. It will become a history. Because anytime I go for a meeting like this. I leave a mark on the sound of time. Yes, sir. I will leave something that will make others marvel and shout. That's why they call me names. Yes, sir. Do you know him? You don't know him. Is anybody here that know you? Yes, sir. Uh-uh. 
Many of you are shouting, hey, calm down now. It's not causing trouble. Okay, m m many of them know you, right? Okay. Okay, the wife is here. Okay, okay. Okay. Your husband, right? Uh -uh. And you people need my help oh, for this one. This one. That I can see it now. Mm. Oh, wait. I'm the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk that do. You can say anything, but you can't say there is no power. Now. I didn't say tomorrow, I said now. Now. The power of he that sits upon the throne of Jasper. Come. Are you a singer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you sing one for us? Very quickly. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I never know you will favor me this way. I never know you will honor me this way. I never know you will honor me this way. Honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you now. And I asked you to sing. You, you started singing that he has favored you already. God bless you. Complex. 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 Okay, now. My brother, anytime your prophet appears, your prophet appears. Yes. Anytime your prophet shows up, your prophet shows up. Yes. My brother, this is my life and this is my work. Everything about me revolves around doing the work of the Father. My joy is when I see a weeping man laughing. When I see the downtrodden rejoicing again. <laughs> and until I see the womb of your wife open for conception. And I see your business established again. You will not live by yes estate with shame. Amen. You will not live there with disgrace. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oya hala settle yourself. Settled. 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 Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of Talk and Truth. I'm going to help you very quickly. The man truly wanted to marry you. You made the mistake of not telling him you had a child. And because you didn't tell him, when he had paid your bride price, planning for the traditional, your stepmother now told him, you are looking for the person who scattered your marriage. Yes. It was your stepmother that told him. He drove to the house. You were not there. Your stepmother called him and brought your son out and said, This boy, And because of what your stepmother told him, he looked at the boy got into his vehicle and as he was about to drive off your stepmother flagged him down and said see you have already paid the bride price the best thing for you to do is to come and marry my daughter it is good to marry good girls he said thank you he turned his vehicle and he left since then you've been calling him and he will tell you don't call my number again that is because he is so angry. The right thing should have been you telling him. Come on. Yeah. Oh yes, I, I said the truth before God. The right thing should have been, you should have been the one to tell him. If he wants to marry you, he will marry you. 
he will not abandon you because of that mistake. You're not telling him was a very serious mistake. But right now, why am I stepping into the matter? Your stepmother is now rejoicing. Very happy that she has done what she want to do. Somebody say, God forbid. God forbid. Anything the enemy is using against you. Today, the Lord will turn that thing to your strength. <laughs>
Say the truth to him. Everything will go ahead. He will go ahead and do everything. He will speedify it. He will do it with speed. Shout settle. Shout settle. settle. Shout settle again. Settle. Stop being ashamed of that boy. There is something about the destiny of that boy. You don't identify with the boy. You always drop him with your mother. Pick that boy. Be proud of that boy. You will be glad if you do. God bless you. My brother, pick a date for your deliverance. Next Saturday. Next week Saturday. Yes. Okay, everybody calm down. Next week Saturday, you will see the deliverance that nobody from your mother's womb had seen. Amen. From next week Saturday, you will know that today you had an encounter with a prophet of God who said to you that that small next that was planted in your mother's womb while she was still in her mother's womb and the wicked witch touched the stomach. Everyone she produced is small. Thank you. You will receive that deliverance from Saturday like you said. Amen. Today you will know that you met a prophet of God. Thank you. It is because of that cause that makes every opportunity that come any of you, to the way of any of you, that opportunity will die without being fulfilled. Yes. But today, as a prophet of God, I order change. Amen. Oh yeah, somebody holla settle. Somebody holla settle. Somebody holla settle. Unchangeable God. Any other person? Any other person that did it? Come down now. Any other person that did it? Oh yeah, come down. Oh yeah, come down. Come down. Come down. Oh yeah, come down. Suffering so hard, but getting little. It is ending today. I bear the mark of God upon me. Receive it now. Oh yeah, somebody hala seto. Hala seto. Hala seto. Any other person? They belong to you. Hold on. Hold on. Any other person? Come down now. Come down. Come down. Come down. Do you need the money now? You need the money now. Eh? Yes. You need money now. Yes. If the money comes now, you will start something. Yes. Because right now you have nothing doing. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. There is somebody I want to bless so that he will bless you. Yes, sir. I want to bless somebody who married your sister. Um. Because if he is blessed now, he will bless you. Yes, sir. Somebody hala tokunadu. Tokunadu. Hala tokunadu again. Tokunadu. I will bless him in Spain now. Yes, sir. You are right. As I bless him in Spain, he will turn around and bless you. God bless you, sir. So you can start something doing. Yes, sir. Somebody holler double letter quail. Double letter quail. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Settle. Settle. Why, why, why doesn't he want to pay your husband? He's not doing him like this. Using his position. I say, King. He's owing your husband, but telling your husband, don't disturb me. That he should not be bothering him. And your husband's brother, it's not helping matters. But now. Somebody say, but now. But now. But now. Uh-uh. But now it will turn. It will turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh yeah, all of you here, stretch your hands to me. Stretch your hands to me. There is something called power of God. What is due you? They took away from you some time ago. Still laughing at you and sending attacks to your family. But now, Palalule Bayagazan Tata. Somebody hala settle. Hala settle. Hala settle. All, all, of, all of you, stretch your hands to me. Stretch your hands to me. You you cannot remain stranded. The family is looking up to you. The family is looking up to you. Things are not working, but it will work. Okay? Things are not working, but it will work. As the family is looking up to you, now help is coming. The attack they are sending to your family that is making something move. Now I cancel it. Somebody shout amen. amen. How can you love God like this and be suffering? <laughs> I like this one. Help will come to meet you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you here, I think I have come. Oh yeah, stretch your hands to me. Let me bless you now. The blessings of the Lord will rest upon you. The finger of the Almighty will rescue you. You will not be head down anywhere. Somebody holla settle. Holla settle. Holla settle. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Truth. Stand up, my dear. You will get in there. You will be happy. Amen. This is my prophecy to you. Amen. Everyone in your family that was tied down before, today I release you. Amen. From this minute, I release all of you. The wicked hands, the Lord will destroy them one after the other. Amen. Their powers are broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, Hala Seto. Hala Seto. Be they settled. For you, I stand, stand, my dear. I prophesy over your head, you will not remain a servant. The Lord will establish you. Amen. That which had done your father will not hold you down. Amen. Somebody hala settle. Hala settle. Hala settle. The native doctor that is doing shams for your uncle, with which he dropped in the compound, killed your parents, dropped in the compound, sank everybody's sweat. In the next 30 minutes, that native doctor will die. Amen. All of you here, hala settle. Hala settle. In the next 23 seconds, whatever the wicked have done against you, grace will swallow it and give you peace. Give you victory. 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 Somebody holla amen. Somebody holla amen. Holla amen. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Truth.